right click on this hyperlink. And when I right click on the hyperlink, I'm going to open the Atlas portal in a new tab. And that website is atlas.heart.org. And I'll make sure I also have that link in the description area below. Once you're on the atlas.heart.org site, it's going to give you an alert and it's letting you know those same alerts that we already saw on the information and resource page. I'm going to X out of it. Because I've been in the system a few minutes ago, it has already um, chosen or I've selected my default language, which is English. And I just want to show you a few things you want to be looking for as you navigate through the system. On the right hand side, if you're on a computer, it should show your name. And if you hit the arrow next to your name, you can see your dashboard, your profile, whatever classes you may have posted or excuse me, whatever classes you posted in the past, you can see your alignment. So let's just start right there. You want to make sure that you're aligned because without the alignment, you will not receive your e-cards. And this is what's a little... Um, a little annoying. I can't dismiss this. So every time I go to a new screen, you're going to see this alert all over again. All right. And so for your alignments, it's letting me know that I am aligned with the, um, the Training Center Babcock Healthcare Educational Services for ACLS, BLS, Heart Saver, and also PALS and um, PAIRS too. So you just want to make sure that whatever courses that you are allowed to teach whatever instructor course you have completed that it actually shows there under your alignment now to get back to where i was i can go back up top where it says eunice mathis or i can click the dashboard now that you verify your alignments i'm going to go ahead and click on this bell because it's letting me know i have notifications and the notifications are just letting me know that i have um, faculty designations and the faculty designations mean that i can teach pals um, bls and also acls and i'm just going to disregard that for now and i will go back later and address those three alerts but at least i know what they're for dashboard is how you get back to your main screen and again, I told you, every time I change screens, it takes me back to this alert page. So I do apologize. It lets me know what tasks are left for me to complete. And I do need to review those alerts that we just saw. Um, it lets me know about upcoming classes, which this is um, incorrect because I've already completed um, my PALS course in March. And so I'm not sure what information was pulled over during the transition, but I'll just go back through at my convenience and view this. But I know that I recertified my um, PALS instructor status in March and also my uh, provider card. So I'm just going to disregard this for now. We have quick links here. Wonderful. We have alignments classes, locations, and e-cards. Awesome. I'm going to go here to locations. And locations are important because if you're aligned with me, Eunice Mathis, your e-cards are either going to be found under Florida Training Academy or Acuity CPR at Florida Training Academy. So I'm just going to go ahead and have you click Acuity CPR at Florida Training if there is a drop down menu. And now if you are teaching at a location, maybe it could be your office, you need to add a location. So I'm going to add a class location for Acuity CPR at Florida Training Academy. And this is gonna be the main location. I'm gonna enter our address. Remember, if you don't enter this information, your students won't be able to find you. So you want to make sure that you enter the correct address to your teaching location. And if you're teaching at multiple locations where then you can go back and repeat this process and add the other locations. And we already know that the longitude and, and latitude on the maps, um, they said was incorrect, but this one is pulling up correctly for, for me. And so a nearby landmark, I'm going to choose a landmark and I don't like any of those. So I'm not going to choose a landmark. I will deselect it. And I want to set this as primary. 
how many seats are available. We usually allow up to eight students per class. Any additional instructions? Um, we are located, if I could type today, inside of the Kingdom Plaza Mall near the bowling alley. Accessibility features. Yes, we have a ramp and we have parking for the disabled. I'm not going to upload an image at this time. I'm just going to create a location. All right, and so now our main location is completed and that's going to again be important because whenever I'm trying to show or schedule classes online, I need that address in the system. So now the part one is done. We're gonna go back to dashboard, whether we need to or not. <laughs> We're just gonna go back to dashboard. I wanna get you in the habit of going back to the dashboard. I'm going to X out of this alert again. And now I'm just gonna scroll down and see if I can get to my quick links. So now we've added our locations. Let's go ahead and add a class. I have one class on this upcoming Saturday. It's gonna be my first class since we transitioned from the instructor network to the Atlas system. And I wanna go ahead and add this class now. So I'm going to select add a class. Course information is going to be basic life support. So BLS provider. And it looks like here it doesn't give you the option of saying if it's an initial or renewal. So we'll see if it does that as we proceed. Course format is going to be classroom. So this is going to be an instructor led course. The language is English. And IVE is the international version of English. And I think if I recall from, from one of the courses that I saw, one of the online tutorials, that's the only op option for right now. But in the future, it should just say English. The exam, I could offer an online exam, but since we're going to be here in the classroom setting and I have pre-printed paper exams, we're gonna be taking our exam offline, which means in-house. Proof of completion is going to be their digital certification card, their e-card. And then as far as select the purchase code, it says no items found. I will figure out what that is in a few moments. This is not a private class. This class is going to be open to the public and I want to make the public aware of this opportunity. My training location, it says this information is used to help you manage your car, your class and aid your students in finding your location. Remember that location that we just added? I'm going to find my main location. Well, that's a bummer because I added a location that's not coming, that's not showing here, but it's not a biggie because right next to it, it says add a location. So let's go through this all over again. <laughs> And I'm not going to edit this out because I just want to show you um, what's going to happen in this system. There may be an error. You just are going to have to work your way through it. Remember, we're all in this together. And we'll get through it together. But I'm not going to retype some of the other information, such as go inside the building, etc. My number of seats are eight. We have our ramp. We have Parker for Disabled. Let's create this location. Hopefully this time it actually sticks. <laughs> it says main, um, main created successfully. And now my location is showing here as the main. This will not be a recurring class, but let's say if every Saturday at the same time you want to offer the same course. Well, you can actually select recurring classes. Instead, I'm going to go to course date or class date. I'm going to click on a calendar. And the calendar has changed. It's no longer Sunday through Saturday. It is now with Saturday and Sunday at the very end of the week. And so be careful whenever you're selecting your class dates. My class is going to be Saturday, June 10th. It's going to start at 9.30 a.m. And I'm going to select the end time. Or oh, actually, it doesn't now. I guess now it doesn't require end time, which is great. I'm not going to put a withdrawal or cutoff date because today is June 8th. And because we're just getting into this Atlas system, this is the only date that I've been able to put into the system since the transition. So I'm not going to put a withdrawal or a cutoff date. And I'm also not going to put an enrollment or a deadline date. But normally I would usually stop enrollment about two days before the course instructor information. It says some instructors may not be shown because they are scheduled for another class at this time. I'm going to go ahead and start typing my name. 
Hmm, and it's only showing one of our other instructors. So April, sorry, your name is it right there and your information is there, but I will let the training center know to fix this so that my other instructors and also myself will be showing right there. The class price, you can enter your price and that will now show on the American Heart Association's website. As far as the enrollment model, um, your options are either auto enroll, which means as soon as a student says, hey, this is a class I want, they're auto enrolled, which would deduct or remove one of your allocated training spots. And remember, I only stated that we were taking eight students per class and sometimes students don't show up. So we don't do auto enroll. We do approval based and then we would transition them into an enrolled status once we've actually received their payment. And the, our registration site for post enrollment is going to be our FLtraining.com site. So we'll receive a notification, the student will be directed to go to our website, and hopefully they will go ahead and complete the registration process and pay. The task area or things to do for like ACLS and PALS, let's say there was a pre-course, some type of assessment that a student had to take before they actually attended your course, you can go ahead and put that information there, such as ACLS pretest, and then you can put the link to the site at which they can actually complete that pretest. For $75, our class does not include the manual. But whenever they go to our website, it will direct them on how to purchase their ebooks. I have my contact information here, and now I'm going to create a class. All right, so it says class. Great, so I just got a notification that says that my class was created successfully, and I just wanna go down here. And again, it does say the wrong instructor's name, but I'm just doing this right now for training and teaching purposes. I will make sure I go back and correct this. But it's letting me know that my class is going to be on June the 10th, 9.30 a.m., that I have eight seats available. So now we're gonna go back to the dashboard. And every time we go to the dashboard, we're gonna receive that alert again. I'm gonna go ahead and X out. In order for you to issue e-cards, you're going to select Training Center. And then e-cards. And this should look very familiar. <laughs> you can now um, go ahead and administer your e-cards by using the drop-down menu. You can assign the cards to your students the same way we did previously. You're going to select your role. And for most of our affiliated instructors, they're going to only see the one role, which is instructor. The training center is Babcock Health. And then they can select their training center and then the course. And then they can select their name and issue their card in the way they would have previously done so. And because this opened up in the second window, whenever you need to go back to your dashboard or your main screen, just find your previous tab that's still open. And that way you can go ahead and, and review because I still want you to go back and look at the program administration manual. Make sure you check on your alignments. And then don't forget to add your classes, your course locations. And if you are an instructor with Florida Training Academy or Babcock Healthcare Educational Services, just please give us another day or so so we can give all of the instructors. We have to re allocate all of those cards that were removed from your inventory. And once we get those cards put back in your inventory, you will be back to working as an American Heart Association, BLS, ACLS, Heart Saver, PALS, or PAIRS instructor. All right, everybody. So this is Nurse Eunice. I am signing off. Um, please, 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 please be patient with us. We're learning the system at the same time you are. We do appreciate you, though, and we thank you for being a valued member of Babcock Healthcare, Acuity CPR, Florida Training Academy, and the American Heart Association. Be blessed, everybody.